You guys ever have one of those days where you just don't want to wake up, everything is fucked, and everybody sucks? You don't really know why, but you want to justify just ripping someone's fucking head off. It's all about the he said, she said bull stuff. It's all about the he said, she said bull stuff. Yeah. One, two, ready, break stuff. I'm having a bad day, but I'm still going to film. <clears throat> okay, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks, and today's video is a buckethead related unboxing, not quite a mask, more of a prop, but I am definitely excited to open this, I've been on the hunt for one of these for quite some time. Huge shout out to one of my patrons, Mr. Zach Fleming, for tracking this thing down for me and getting the owner to agree to sell it to me. Definitely stoked to have this in the collection. I've only ever seen one other copy of this, and that is in the Mask Hunters collection, a fellow buckethead collector, and uh, I'm definitely stoked to have it because this is a cool little nifty bucket head piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you guys what we've got. This thing is bigger than I thought it was. That's what she said. So in this box we have a Distortions Unlimited severed head prop used by Buckethead from time to time, most notably at a convention. I'm honestly not sure what convention it is, but he was there with Bootsy Collins and a couple other people and there are just some photos of him using this as he takes photos with other people and fans and stuff like that. So I've been on the hunt for one and I finally tracked one down. And like I said, Mr. Zach Fleming found this for me. He used to own it, sold it to a guy. He found that guy later on and got the guy to agree to sell it to me. So here we have it. This thing is in very, very good shape, especially for being a very vintage distortions piece. You would think that it would be uh, riddled with rot or dry spots or something, but it is actually in flawless condition. So I'm definitely stoked about that. As I mentioned earlier, these are super rare. I only know of one other person that has one, and that is the mask hunter because what doesn't he have? If it's a rare mask that you want, he probably already has it. So as I mentioned earlier, this is a distortions piece. So not only is it Buckethead, but it is distortions, which is my all time favorite mask company. So it's cool to have that as well, just for the sake of it being a distortions piece. But yeah, just a nice subtle little decap prop there. Probably going to go on my Buckethead shelf. Hell, he might get a bucket himself. I wish that I could tell you guys more about this, but like I said, Buckethead only used it a couple times, most notably for that convention, so that's where the photos that you're going to see of it come from. But just for the sake of making this video a little longer and giving you guys something to enjoy watching, I am going to unbox something else. Another piece, this one came directly from Zach, and it is another Buckethead piece, so I figured why not throw it in this video. He found these at a local costume shop, he ended up sending me one and keeping one for himself. And in this package we have... Another Esquire mask. This is another little random piece used by Buckethead. Only ever seen him use this in a short little clip that I've shown on this channel before, but I will toss it up over here. It's in one of Buckethead's DVDs. He is just being weird, and he is like searching for these teeth that he buried in the ground, like the chatter teeth. It's really strange, but uh, definitely looks cool in that video, so stoked to have two of these. My other one has quite a different finish, lots of white, uh, like some white highlights as like makeup was used on it or something like that. I don't know if Don Post started painting them differently at a certain time, or if whoever owned that before the mask hunter sent it to me put the white on there after the fact. But this one is clean and the other one is dirty, so they look kind of cool, and uh, I'm definitely stoked to see those together. With that being said, I am on the hunt for another piece to complete this little Esquire outfit. I'm looking for this helmet. So if anybody out there has one of these helmets, please let me know. It should just be like a child's toy plastic helmet. Buckethead used that with this mask, and uh, someone contacted me on Instagram and said that they had one, talked about doing a trade with me, and then never followed up, so I'm not really sure what happened, but I'm tired of bothering that person. And if you are that person and there's a misunderstanding, please let me know. I would love to score that thing off of you. But if anybody else out there has one and wants to potentially sell it or trade it for another mask, please let me know because I am on the hunt for that. I would love to see that helmet with one of these masks. So. so that is going to be just about it for this video. I am going to go ahead and show these things off together and then I will separate them and probably show off this distortions head a little bit better because I am stoked to have it. Did I mention that it's rare? Because it's rare and uh, feels good to finally track this piece down and have it in my hands. Huge shout out to Zach. Thank you for both of these pieces. I definitely appreciate it. And thank you for your patronage. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you later.